Hello, welcome to Biker Night King, featuring sweatpants. Good evening. In this Game of Thrones inspired series, we are going to be going over the Night King today. I, I didn't have the outfit and I'm like, <laughs> But then I also thought to myself, you know what? I, I got a, I, I've got a good amount of leather jackets. This one's kind of got some texture to it, you know? So I'm like, it works kind of a little bit. Um, use imagination. Imagination. Well, I do have a brow prosthetic on and I obviously have horns stuck to my head. Those are the only prosthetics on my face right now. Everything else is just completely painted. Actually, a good majority of this is eyeshadows. Pretty much every line that you see and shading is eyeshadow. And the horns are just made out of kids air dry clay. In case you ever wake up one morning and you're like, you know what? I have a big desire to be the Night King today. It's achievable. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you share it with your friends, with your family, with whoever you feel like sharing it with that might also enjoy this video. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. You can also check out my video of Danny as half of a dragon as well as Danny's chess video. I will link that in the corner and the description actually of this video. And of course, if you enjoy this video or any of my videos, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yours and everyone's favorite, bald cap me. I'm starting off by covering up my eyebrows using a washable glue stick and not really caring how they turn out, just making sure that they're covered because I'm going to be covering them again anyways. I just want to protect them from the Tinsley transfer that I'm going to be applying over them, which is a prosthetic piece that basically applies like a temporary tattoo. I could have honestly skipped this altogether because I did so much detail in the paint itself anyways, but if you would like to use a prosthetic, these ones are always nice. I'm then mixing together a light blue body paint with white to make an even lighter blue body paint and covering my face, neck, and chest. Using the original blue body paint without the white mixed into it, I'm then going to contour all of the areas of my face. And just for me to get a better idea of what I'm looking at, I also decided to add some shading right underneath the furrowed brow, just for right now. Also applied eye primer and made my eyelids darker. For the entirety of shading in this video, I'm going to be using the Icy Palette from Tarte. Using alcohol-based makeup and vein tone, I then just splattered it all over my head, all over my face, and all over my body. I feel like this really just helps push the colors into your skin to make it look more natural, even though we're blue. I also used white to highlight my nose as well as my cheekbones and any areas that I wanted to pop forward. Continuing to use that vein tone color with less alcohol added to it, I painted on the cracks on his head. Going back to Tarte's Icy Palette, I just generally sketched out where I wanted the lines to go within his face. The overall look that I really wanted to capture was just the direction in which the wrinkles are going. And be sure to try to do as fine of lines as possible, it's easier to add than it is to subtract. Once I got my base on of all the light colors, I then just went in with a darker color from Tarte's Icy Palette to deepen everything up. I also added shading where I saw necessary, such as underneath the cheekbones and also around the eyes. I then just continued the line pattern flowing with my body going up from my neck, going across from my collarbone, and down onto my chest. Because I used the alcohol-based makeup earlier, it actually broke up the eyeshadow on my neck. I loved the way that that looked. So I ended up splattering even more just pure alcohol on the makeup to break the eyeshadow up even more. Using black body paint and then just deepening up around my eyes and a little bit throughout my face. I also added Urban Decay's Night King eyeliner because it seemed appropriate. Now originally I went with, ah, you know what, I'll stick some pre-made horns on. Then I'm like, ah, you know what, I'd rather make them myself. So while I did end up keeping a couple of the pre-made horns, majority of them I just made out of air dry clay. 
I may have given him a little too many horns. I like it. I think it looks nice. I then once again mixed together light blue body paint with white to give myself an even lighter blue body paint, and I couldn't help myself and I ended up giving my whole face highlights. To help blend in the base of the spikes even more, I once again splattered that vein tone on the base of them. Going back to Tarte's Icy Palette, I then chose a navy blue color and just surrounded the spikes. I also added a little more black throughout. And of course, because I cannot help myself, I went back in and added even more highlights using white body paint. It's honestly too bad that I can't play Game of Thrones music because I really just want to have the music and just be like... But it's it's less eventful without the music, so... <laughs> I'll be up at the gym just working on my fitness. He's my witness.